first the position function s of t is equal to x of t we will just write s of t equal to negative t to the fourth negative 40 cube plus 18 t squared plus 2 the velocity v of t is equal to the instantaneous rate of change of the position function the derivative of the position function x prime of t v of t will be 4 times negative 1 negative 4 t cube minus 3 times negative 4 negative 12 t squared plus 2 times 18 36 t the acceleration a of t is the derivative of the velocity rate of change of the velocity which is the second derivative of the position function a of t will be 3 times negative 4 negative 12 t squared minus 24 t plus the derivative of 36 t is 36 in factored form a of t is equal to negative 12 times t squared plus 2t minus 3 since we factor out negative 12 and now we're gonna find the maximum for the acceleration function we set a of t equal to 0 therefore negative 12 times t squared plus 2t minus 3 is equal to 0 negative 12 cannot be 0 therefore t squared plus 2t minus 3 is equal to 0 in factored form we'll have t plus 3 times t minus 1 is equal to 0 the two zeros are t is equal to negative 3 and t is equal to 1 negative 3 will be rejected time cannot be negative now table of sign for t equal to 1 at 1 function will be equal to 0 before 1 we're going to test for 0 and we're gonna have for t equal to 0 negative 12 will be negative we'll just look for the sign t plus 3 t equal to 0 will be equal to 3 will be positive and t minus 1 t equal to 0 will be negative negative times a negative is a positive times a positive positive so to the left of one the function is positive to the right of one we're going to test for t equal to two negative 12 will always be negative t equal to 2 2 plus 3 5 positive 2 minus 1, 1 positive. So the function will be negative. We go from positive to 0 to negative. So 1 is a maximum. Now for the maximum velocity, remember that acceleration is the slope of the velocity function. A1 is equal to 0 and 1 is a max therefore at t equal to 1 we will get a maximum velocity